Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will understand a very important topic that is intent. We will cover all the questions like what is intent, type of intents and most importantly, we will understand everything through an example. Okay. Also, you will find this question in every Android developer interview. So make sure you watch the video till the end. If you have watched any of my previous video, then you must have seen that I have used intents almost everywhere. Because once you will start creating projects, then you will realize how important intents are. Alright, so what is intent? Intent is a class, so basically it provides a communication between two activities or services. In simple words, it will redirect the user from one activity to another activity. And not only that, it also helps to pass data from one activity to another activity. So there are two types of intent. First is explicit intent and second is implicit intent. Okay, let me explain both of them in short and then I'll explain you in detail at the time of example. So explicit intent is basically redirecting from one activity to another activity within an app. For example, it's like going from sign up activity to login activity, right? Then what is implicit intent? So implicit intent is basically redirecting from one app to another app. For example, consider you are in the gallery app, okay, and you want to send one of your picture to someone. So when you click on the share button, it will provide you with multiple options of app to choose from, right? Like if you want to send that picture through WhatsApp or through Insta or maybe through Gmail, correct? So you choose WhatsApp. Now what happened over here is that you are redirected from the gallery app to WhatsApp app, right? This is a perfect example of implicit intent. So I hope it's pretty much clear to you. So now let's move on to Android Studio. This is what our default Android project looks like, right? We have a main activity and its respective activity main.xml. Now first, let's understand explicit intent example. So as I said, explicit intent means redirecting from one activity to another activity, right? So over here, we already have one activity that is our main activity. And we need another activity as well, right? So let me quickly create it. And it's done. So now we have two activities. One is main activity and another one is second activity. Perfect. So to redirect it, we will require a button. You can use text view or image view, anything will work. So let me quickly create a button in activity main.xml. And it's done. Then let me quickly design the activity second.xml as well. I have wrote the text as welcome to second activity. Now comes the important part. So go to main activity. First we need to initialize the button. And then also if you are not aware about well and where then let me quickly explain it. So well stands for value and it is immutable. That means the value cannot be changed once it is initialized. And where stands for variable and it is mutable. That means it can be changed. Now we need to set on click listener on the button which will make it clickable. So let me quickly do that. And it's done. Then comes the intent part. So first write well explicit intent. This is our variable name. Okay. Then call intent class. First let me write the code and then I'll explain you.
So inside the intent syntax, we have two parts. First is package context, that is this, which means the initial position or in which activity you are currently present in. So this refer to as main activity. Okay. The next we have a second activity, which means in which activity you want to go, right? So basically, I want to go from this activity to second activity. Perfect. Then use start activity method and call explicit intent. That's it. Let's run the app and see. I click on explicit button and it redirects me to the second activity. Perfect. Now, let me show you one more thing. So when I click on back button, it leads me to the previous activity, right? But I want that if I click on back button, it should exit the app instead of going back to the previous activity. So to do that, all you need to do is add finish method. And I reapply the changes and wait. Now let me again click on explicit button. Yes, we are redirected to the second activity. Now, when I click on the back button, it exits the app. Perfect. That's what we wanted, right? You can use finish method when you will be creating login activity. So once the user is logged in and if he clicks on the back button, it will exit the app instead of going back again to the login page. Got it? So I hope you have understood explicit intent. Now let's understand implicit intent example. So first, let me quickly create a button for implicit intent. And then I have named the button as implicit button. Okay. So as I previously said, implicit intents redirect from one app to another app. So for this example, we'll be redirecting from our app to another app and that another app will be the Chrome browser. Okay. So let me quickly write the code and then I'll explain you. And it's done. So first I have initialized a URL that is www.google.com. You can write any URL as per your choice. Then I have initialized the implicit button. Then I have set on click listener on the implicit button. And inside that we have a similar intent syntax but with few different parameters. So let's understand both the parameters. So first is intent.actionView that represents the action of viewing the data specified by the intents data. So basically, we just have to weave the link, right? So we have used action view. Maybe consider a different situation where you have to select a picture from gallery. Then in that case, we will use action pick. That means selecting a picture. Then second parameter is URI.parse the URI. So over here, URI is used to identify a resource or provide access to a particular resource. Then parse methods create a URI object from the given URL string. So in simple words, first parameter represents the action to be performed and second parameter represents on where to perform that particular action. Got it? Also, as we have used link, so we will provide URL, but the code will be different for opening email or opening gallery or maybe opening the camera, which you can easily find it on internet. Got it? Then we have called start activity method and inside that implicit intent. And that's it. Now let's run the app. I'll click on implicit button and see it will provide me with multiple app options to choose from depending upon the command. 
So for like in our code, we have provided a link, right? And link will always open in browser. So in my emulator, there are two apps that can open this link. First is Chrome and second is a tester browser. So obviously I'll go for Chrome. And see, google.com is opened in the Chrome browser. Perfect. So we have redirected from our app to another app that is Chrome. Got it? So yeah, that is it for the video. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.